Hello, it's Jason from digino.org and Data ABC. And in today's video, I want to do a complete beginner's guide to ManyCam, a little introduction for you, going through all of the little tabs and features and stuff and how to use it. Because there's always so many questions about it. So I want this to be a nice go-to video for people just starting out, wanting to use ManyCam, not too sure of it. Use this as a resource and you'll be golden. So without further ado, let's get going. Um, I'll start by saying uh, to get your camera up, it'll, you'll have like one of these slots here and it'll be like a plus on a grayed out thing. You just want to click on it and you know select your camera. Okay, and then you can transition to it because I'm not on it yet. So you press the transition and then you're on it and you're going to have to mess around with the brightness and stuff. You see the difference now. This is all grey. Um, so down here you'll have all the little feature says the brightness, uh, the black and white, so how much emphasis on black and white, uh, colour, so this one you can give yourself a little bit of a tan if you're looking a bit pale, which I normally am, and yeah, then you make yourself red, whoa, which is really good for like pretending you've eaten something hot like a chilli or eating some fire, like ah, so that's cool. Or maybe you feel a bit sick, you want to play up to it with the student, oh I feel sick, Oh, you're underwater. Way blue. You get a point with that. Cool. Let me transition to my regular camera because the brightness is fine. Um, yeah, so over here in your video tab, don't worry about the presets because that's not beginner. Don't worry about it. I'm only going to show you the essentials. So the video tab here, uh, resolution, fine, 720p, whatever your camera is, fine. Do the top one. Frames per second, for a, that's about right. Don't worry about all these things too much. It's not going to affect it. And then you've got zoom here. So you can just press the little plus or minus, or you can just take the drag and look. Oh, so much on my face there. I'm sure you enjoyed that. Um, and then down here, you got flip and rotate. So you can rotate uh, to the left or upside down. So you can just spin yourself around. Same with the right. Won't bother doing it. This one here, flip horizontally. So look, see how... The ukulele or whatever changes from right to left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is just, it's not an essential feature, but you can have some fun with it. You can flick around. It's like, where's the ukulele? On the left. Where's the ukulele? On the right. There you go, little activity. Practice their lefts and rights. And flip vertically. Whoa, I'm upside down. You might have seen, I'm always doing this uh, with like a high five. Oh, five ways to high five. I'm upside down. I sometimes pretend to be like, whoa. I'm like, Cool off, but you can do whatever you want with it. So that's that. Uh, picture and picture mode over here. So it's currently set on one camera, or you can set it to two cameras there. And when it comes up with this, you can adjust the size of it if you don't want it too big, or you can move it around. And then you right click on it and select your camera or whatever you want in there. So this is really good. So let's select my camera. Uh, this is great for uh, showing YouTube videos and all that, all that kind of stuff. Showing a YouTube video through it or a video you have downloaded. So you would just right click, grab the YouTube URL. So literally just copy and paste the URL from YouTube. Click on that, paste it in there. So right click and paste, OK. And then the YouTube video will play. OK. And then you're still present on the screen when the video is going off. So if it's like a nice little music video, you can be dancing on the screen or singing along or whatever. So that's cool. Um, and obviously you can have more than one. So you can have another one there. So you might have something loaded like a, you could load up a, um, a blank image with some words on it. So you, look, you could even have, uh, let's go on a blank image. You can put on there, and you could write something on there, uh, which I'll show you in a second how to do. And or you could have two screens of you, two screens there, or you could have it the other way around, or you could have four. And obviously, each time you've got to load the camera. Okay, and yeah, you so you've seen I've done this with like high twenty things like that. So this is a good little one to do. Uh, you know, fun with juggling balls, I've used this one. Where's the cat? I've used this one. 
all these videos are on the channel if you want to search them um yeah so that is that i've already covered the yeah the color so cool uh let me go back to regular so that is the video tab done and dusted so now we want to go to audio and now with audio you don't really need to worry about this too much all you really need to worry about is uh, putting in your headphones your audio playback device so at the moment uh my headphones are in there so i put them in there um you want to go and add an audio device like for your mic so you can have your headset microphone which is what i've got this here or your internal microphone um little things like that so it should have the list in there whatever you have plugged in okay and same with that one but yeah don't worry about these settings too much you can upload um some music on there I just I just do music on YouTube videos because you've got the picture as well. So audio is not too much of a worry. And then you have the draw feature. You know, I mentioned earlier about uh, having the blank space there on your camera. Well, here it's basically like Microsoft Paint. You can type something in there. Hello. Oh, oh it's not appearing. Uh, it's not appearing because my text box I was playing around with it and it's gone down the bottom of the screen somewhere and I haven't figured out how to find it yet. But you should have a little text box when you're on the pencil. And, uh, but, so if you, if you can't type in, but you can also draw. See over here, I've got this little cursor. See, I've got the color set as brown. I'm not sure why. And you can then use your eraser. So I've selected the eraser there and you can erase it or you could just Get, press this button to get rid of it. That's it. There's your pen. There's your fill bucket. Oh no, it's all brown. Undo. There you go. Uh, let's just change it to blue. There you go. Way. I'm all blue. Cool. And then what's this? I don't know what this is. I'm not really sure what that does. But yeah, as you can see, I am. I'm, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really use this one that much because obviously you have the pen tool with that ABC as well. You can write on the courseware, so I don't see the need of it. Sometimes I'll draw a little mustache on myself, something like that. Yeah, but up here, if you are doing the text, you can change the font, the font size, the color, all of that cool stuff. So that's cool. Uh, what's this do? Not sure, never use it. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the, uh, what's it called? The draw section of ManyCam, okay? Uh, time. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. You won't use it. Chroma key. This is uh, when you want to have a background. Uh, so you'll need a green screen. So instead of having your teacher background, you can have a digital one. But I don't use this because it's so difficult. I don't know what that sound was. But it's so difficult to um, get the lighting right with a green screen. Oh, it's Siri. I got my phone plugged in. One sec. There we go. Uh, so yeah, with the chroma key and the background, I find if you have like a digital background, it's a bit overwhelming for the student. Uh, you're better off just getting like a, a poster or something and stick it up on your wall. Uh, check out my video on how to make your background yourself. I'll show you how I made mine. So, and then we go to lower third. Don't worry about that. And we'll go to effects. So this is where the money is made. So with the effects, this is all these categories here and like objects for example it's just loads of like random things um you can you'll have these already on many cam when you download it um but you can get some more you can get some more and how you do that is you go to this plus symbol here it says get more effects there um i'll, I'll have a link down below if you want to check them out now to uh there or the many cam website with all the effects on there but you can go through here get more effects take you to the ManyCam website, which is a bit of like a catalog for all the effects. And then once you have them downloaded, you can go here, add new effects, and it'll you know upload them, find them on your computer and upload them. And then they should go into the category that they're set as. So if they're an object, they'll go in objects. Uh, so let's have a look at objects. Um, I already looked at that. Emoticons, all these fun stuff here. This is the home of Mr. Carrot that you might have seen from my other videos, a living legend. Uh, face masks, uh, this is cool. This has like the rabbit, things like that. You can get loads more, so let's put the rabbit on me. Uh, nope. 
Wait, the rabbit's not coming on me. Let's try again. There we go, there's a rabbit. And these are great. You might have seen, I'm always using the cat, for like where's the cat song, and, uh, things like that. So, yeah, face masks are cool. You put these on, and literally, to make them appear, you just click them. Uh, you, you just click them and then click off of them. Uh, so let's give you an example. I should have done that already. So let's put the basketball from any kind of basketball. You click it, it's on there, and you can move it around just by clicking and holding it on your cursor. And then you click off of it over here, and then it's gone. And if ever you want to use all of these a lot, press the little heart in the corner, and that will send it over here into your favorites. So if you're going to use that a lot, put it in your favorites. And up here, it's just a face mask one. So that just goes to the face mask. Face mask, sorry. Uh, and then you have your, uh, what was I at? Face accessories. So yeah, so those are cool things here, like the glasses and things like that. So there's loads of ways that you can use it. Borders, so things like, if it's the student's birthday, put the birthday flags up. So that's kind of cool. Overlays, uh, I don't have any installed here, but I think overlays is something I don't really use. It's things like, you know when uh, a TV station breaks down, you can put that up, or like, you know, sign saying sorry I'm busy or whatever. Backgrounds, you might have seen in Where Am I the game. Uh, you put on a background, let's go to a field. You move out of the way of the screen. Three, two, one. I'm not sure how well it will work with my background at the moment. Yeah, as you can see. Yeah, well, it, it works alright, it works alright. Um, better with a green screen, but it's hard to get the lighting right. But this will do, this will do. Um, so that's cool. Check out where's my, well, where am I? So I'll show you the way around uh, if it's a bit dodgy. Okay. And filters, just things like black and white. You want somebody to go black and white, or if you want to go cartoon. Oh, there you go, your cartoon. So there's those cool things you can do to keep engagement with that. Distortions is always my winner. There's so much you can do with this. Like, uh, where's my head? You can get rid of your head just by moving to the side because it makes two of you. Where's my head? That's cool. I'm always using the fire. Ooh, I'm on fire. And bulge, as you see, is a big winner for me. Oh, always good fun. Um, yeah, so that's distortions. You can find all of them on the website as well. And here you go, there's little speech bubbles. Goodbye, student. <laughs> so that's really cool. It's a nice little feature. Uh, lower thirds, like I said before, don't worry about that. And groups, don't worry about that just yet. Just get yourself fiddling around with it. This is a beginner's guide. So yeah, that's the effects. Uh, gallery is if you've got some put into the gallery. Don't worry about that. There's, there's loads of features that you just don't really need for Data ABC. Because obviously this isn't a Data ABC exclusive uh, software or online teaching exclusive software. It's used for other things. So not everything is going to be useful. Um, yeah, so basically down here you have all your, um, what are they called? I call them slots. There's probably another word for them. But you've got your slots. And when you hover over it, you can transition into it. Here's my screen saver here, which I use. Check out how to never be late for that ABC, where I show you how to use that. So you can either transition or you can cut. So cut, so you instantly go to it, or you can transition, and it's a nice slow transition, which I like to use, because it's a bit more nicer on the eyes. And yeah, down here, so you can record it, and you can take a snapshot, and that's what goes into your gallery. So yeah, you just basically set all of these up. Um, and how you set up these games, let's, let's go over here. You right click here, you go to a blank image, and you click on white. Okay? And then you set up all your effects on there. So things with like star bomb, but I wouldn't do that now, so I can't probably find it. Put a basketball there, and there you go. You just set it up like that. And the selected effects will appear here. Up in the top. Or, you yeah. know, uh, yeah, they'll just appear at the top, and if, alternatively, if you don't want to search around to try and find it, you can just press X, and it will disappear in your selected effects. But yeah, so there's a blank image. Let's go back to my webcam. And so, game, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, or that. Media files, if you have videos downloaded um, from YouTube, then, one second, oh. If you have things downloaded from YouTube, and you can do it that way. 
upload them. I just I just do the URL because it works quite well. And and I think I mentioned the URL earlier. So you basically just copy the URL from YouTube and play it through there. Let's have another go. And you just paste it in there. Okay. And uh, desktop. This one I'm using all the time. Desktop area under cursor. This will be sharing your screen basically. So wherever your cursor is pointed at, it will share your screen. So instead of things like flashcards, I just do this and go onto Google Images, uh, do it, open your Internet Explorer tab, go onto Google Images, type in like tiger, area under cursor, hover over it, and the picture of the tiger will appear where you are on your screen is. So that's really good. And then you'll just return back to uh, ManyCam after doing that and right click and go back onto your camera. Blank image as I've just shown you, or clear if you want to get rid of everything, get rid of your camera, everything, start fresh and start anew. Okay, uh, that's basically everything I can show you about ManyCam uh, through a beginner's guide. Let's get rid of that. And so, hopefully, that's been helpful for you. Uh, if I've missed anything out, I'll probably end up covering it in another video, to be honest with you. But that should get you going for now. Um, I've made videos and articles all about the best ManyCam version to get, depending on your needs. This is ManyCam Studio, so that's why I have a lot of slots down here because I, I make a lot of games and I, you know, I need I need to have the slots. So if you want all of this, uh, ManyCam Studio is the one for you. But I'll put a link to it all down below if you want to check it out yourself. But yeah, hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, this is Jason from Digino.org and Data ABC. Subscribe for more, like and comment. It's all good. And yeah, hope you had fun. See you next time. Bye bye.